all right hi everyone so let me solve the 10 questions in the way in which the thought process which is going on in my mind what should be the thought process while you are solving these questions let me see the first uh, it was an audio question in uh, which it was um, said that the patient is having uh, myopia high myopia of minus 7 diopters and then the doctor saw something so you should know in high myopia the eyeball is long so the eyeball the optic disc size is also large so this could have been ruled out now there is peri papillary papilla means optic disc so around the optic disc there is, a, there is atrophy because of thinning of the retina and choroid the sclera become prominent and the thinning of the retina are known as lattice degeneration this is a fact now when the optic disc is large the blind spot is enlarged rest but this enlargement of blind spot is not seen on fundoscopy that is the answer it is seen on visual field the question was that in fundoscopy the doctor will see all of the following except so blind spot is not seen on fundoscopy it is seen on visual field so that was a common sense question that can be asked in the exam like that now second was a image uh, question now this is the angiography which is showing uh, the vessels and there is a appearance of hyperfluorescence in the central retina this is like a flower petal appearance and the patient was uh, the question was which complication of cataract surgery has the least has a most chances of this now this you should know cystoid macular edema is due to inner blood retinal barrier break can be due to inflammation after cataract surgery and the chances of inflammation are more when there is posterior capsule rupture the maximum so that can disturb the vitreous and the vitreous is disturbed which can lead to inflammation inside the eye which can lead to inner blood retinal barrier break the fluid and exudates go into the outer plexiform layer and they have a radial configuration because of henle's layer of the retina that is outer plexiform giving hyperfluorescence in the late stages of angiography that is cystoid macular edema flower petal appearance the thickness of the central retina is also increasing so c is answer over here now which is not done in post cataract surgery endophthalmitis the treatment of choice is antibiotics yes because it is an infectious condition and the vitreous has to be involved so topical plus intravital antibiotic is given topical works only up to the length so intravital antibiotic is a better answer and if it is not able to control then vitrectomy is done but systemic antibiotic has no role in endophthalmitis systemic antibiotic has role in pan ophthalmitis when the cornea sclera is also involved so this could have been solved as well the fourth one which are the following on the macular function test except macular means the central retina is being tested whenever you are seeing from the central uh, when your vision is absolutely straight when you are seeing from the papillomacular bundle fibers or the central fibers of the retina when you are looking absolutely straight when your vision is absolutely straight form sense color sense contrast sense you are checking the macular function so snellen's chart is for form sense the amsler grid shows you 400 squares and it is a subjective test whenever there is a metamorphosia we have to suspect a macular pathology so that is a macular function test photo stress test uh, differentiate the macular test from optic nerve disorders macular disorders from optic nerve disorders is a previous question so abc are macular function test electrooculogram tells about the electrical activity of the retinal pigment epithelium so that is the answer over here that is not a macular function test now this is the histopathology of the retina see this brown thing brown color is a retinal pigment epithelium that's why there are these uh, choroidal vessels beneath so just look at the blue dots so if this is the choroid over here this is the vitreous and the cells which are closest to the vitreous are the ganglionic cells these are the nucleus nucleus means ganglionic cell layer this is the inner nuclear this is the outer nuclear so inner nuclear contains four cells it contains bipolar amacrine muller cell and horizontal cell but ganglionic cell is over here ganglionic cell is the this one which is the closest uh, cell nucleus to the vitreous then inner nuclear then the outer nuclear contains the nucleus of the rods and cones now what is the meaning of the english word monoocular means from one eye the patient is seeing two images from one eye for example from right eye the patient is seeing two images so what will happen if you close the left eye nothing will happen you will have diplopia from the right eye what will happen if you close the right eye then diplopia, diplopia goes away means monoocular diplopia goes away on closing the affected eye binocular diplopia means one eye sees one image other eye sees other image 
it goes away by closing any eye. If you close right eye, only one image. If you close left eye, only one image. So monoocular diplopia is usually relieved by covering the affected eye. And it can be seen in astigmatism, corneal astigmatism like keratoconus, multiple pupils, lenticular astigmatism, I told yesterday, subluxation of lens. So A is the answer over here. Now this is a fundus picture. Retina is a fundus picture from optic disc to ora serrata. This is the left fundus because the fovea is always on the temporal side and that is an observer's view. I hope you know this is the central lateral artery. This is the vein. 2 is to 3 is the ratio. And these are all the central lateral vessels. The caudal vessels are behind. The screen is your retina. The caudal vessels are behind the screen which are not seen. And this is mostly dark because of not photoreceptors because of melanin at the retinal pigment epithelium layer. And this is the left fundus and this uh, on fundoscopy the doctor will see this as a real inverted image because of the uh, condensing lenses used by indirect ophthalmoscopy doctor. But central retina is dark because of retinal pigment epithelium not the photoreceptors. Okay. One day after a complicated one day after complicated cataract surgery patient has decreased vision usual activity was 624. There was inf inflammation, there was, I also gave, nah, I gave, I know what's the question. So there was fibrinous exudates. B scan shows some vitreous exudates and there was no retinal attachment. Toxic anti-segment syndrome means that the posterior segment is normal. Pan of thermitis means the cornea sclera should be involved. That was not, no um, scenario was given when cornea sclera was involved. And toxic glaucoma, even the IOP was not mentioned. So how can it be glaucoma? Only thing is acute endothermitis, intravital antibiotic should be the answer of this question. Now this is not angiography, this is autofluorescence because you see the vessels of the retina doesn't have the dye, the optic disc does not have, have the dye. This is autofluorescence which is useful in star guards condition, best condition because they have lipofacian deposit. Star guards scattered all over the retina and best in the center. This fluorescent dye injected gives information about the vasculature retina choroid hyperfluorescence and diabetic retinopathy that is in angiography. This is not angiography, this is autofluorescence because the optic disc and the retina vessels do not have, do not have any dye. Okay, that's the answer and this it gives information in start cards. So you people were right, it was hanging a little bit. So now mine is also hanging a little bit, very good. But now I am to the 10th question. This is a lens, intraocular lens and some alginic pearls. That is most common complication of cataract surgery, that is posterior capsule opacification. And the patient complains of decreased vision after cataract surgery with glare. Glare is intolerance to bright light. Because of uh, increased uh, light which is coming inside, it will scatter from the posterior surface giving glare. So that was the 10 questions. 7 or 7 more than 7 above should have been done in this quiz. Best wishes. Let's discuss in the group.